Nick York is outside the London Stadium, West Ham Fan TV. Not good enough. Not good enough. It's uh, you know entertaining second half. It's always entertaining. Come back, but <laughs> coming back against a team like Burnley is not is not acceptable. First half was very very poor, um, especially Phillips. And I'm glad he came off. You know I, I don't want to ha harp on about him too much, but he's. he's he doesn't look up to it, but that first half was, you know, it's a good goal from Fafana, but really we gave him so much space. He's gone past players like they're not there, hot knife through butter. Um, that wasn't good enough, and, and luckily, you know, he, he saw, he saw, um, he saw the light. He knows he needs to make those subs at half time. He did, and we had a great second half. But I do agree, we shouldn't be coming into a game like Burnley and doing that in the second half. We should be doing it throughout the whole half. Just like attack him, kill him. Exactly. Exactly, we have we have the talent to do that. Look at the two starting 11s. You know, we should be killing them. You know, we you know I'm not talking about eight nil, but we could be beating them about three nil. But he's so cautious, so defensive. He does it all the time. It's you know it, it's gone to a point. Now. But I don't understand. You know, he's seen that we can do it in that second half. So is he going to do it in the next game? No, probably not. But that does I don't understand that. He's shown that he can. He's shown that the players can do it. And I actually called Ings to all on a half uh, on a um, off the bench. So I was I was uh, happy for Ings. But uh, no, where would he come on? <laughs> you know, he's nearly scored an hat trick. Yeah, no, he, he was very good. And I was very critical of Ings, especially last season. He, very poor, but this season he's, he's looking all right when he comes off the bench. But um, And to be fair, all of them looked all right in that second half. And actually, given us another 10 minutes, we probably would have got the winner. So, disappointed in that regard. But we gave ourselves a mountain to climb when it was 2-0 at half-time. So, I'm just... I'm a little bit uh, nervous about Freiburg. I, I wasn't happy with the performance on Thursday. And I'm doubtful he's going to come out and attack in that second game. So He's got to. He's got, to. He's got no choice. Well, I know, but you know what Moyes is like. He's stubborn. He doesn't care what we think. He's stubborn. He sticks to his ways. I think he'll probably grind out that first half and then he'll, he'll choose the second half to do it. It's not the right thing. It's not what we want to see as fans, but that's just what Moyes will do. Um, but even if we get through that, I'm, I'm not thinking we're going to get into the next, you know, look at all of the other teams resting it. So I don't want to go out of it, obviously, but if we do go out, you know, probably weren't going to win it anyway, which is a shame, but see what happens. Brilliant. OK, thank, thank you very you. much. Cheers, Cheers pal. Thank you.